Oh, people. The mongoose here. On a quest to find a mill. Bush mill. Don't know if I'm going to find this one, man. This bush is dense. Somewhere up here. On the top of this hill. Well, at least it's letting up. I just had to cut it through about 300 feet, a really dense bush. But I don't want to burn up too much battery time. Just cutting bush, you know. Get the bush thinned out a bit here. Yeah, this is the mill <clears throat> above the Fountain Valley Golf Course. This is not the Bodkin Mill. <clears throat> Bodkin Mill is that way. That one has a road to it. This one is nothing but bush to get to it. Man, a lot of barns, man. So far, no bees. I well, I've been to this mill about 35 or so years ago, but the bush wasn't like this. Thing is with this kind of bush. Ah, uh, which way to go? What's over there? Uh, fuck vines. Opening up there. <clears throat> yeah, what am I getting myself into here? Fucking shady went flying. Damn it. Good thing nobody was behind me. <laughs> uh, razor sharp too. The ham is all these hurricanes. You open this all up. And a lot of scrubby bush and vines grow in because they got sun, you know. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is not looking too good. <laughs> Thing is, you can't get a visual on it. And this bush is real dense. Oh, 
and I'll have to scrap the video. Oh, it'll be a cutting bush. Wow, it's getting real dense up there. As long as it ain't the thorny stuff. Goddamn vines. Top of this hill's got to be up there. Ah, Not thorny stuff. Some fucking short pants. Jack Spinners, wasp. Yeah, hell with them. Stung so many times. Might have to shut the video. Not do a continuous one. Just film a lot of bush cutting. A sharp machete mine. A little bit open over here. Might not be able to find it. So dense. You could be within 50 feet of it and not see it. There's no visual. Ooh, that's real dancing there. Go this way. Fucking mine. Hole through there. Ah, these mills now, they're just so grown dense in the bush. It's, they're not visible <coughs> from anywhere except for Google Earth. And even on Google Earth, some of them are not visible. It's only because I know where they are. Try to line it up, but this bush is making me take different direction. Through there, straight up. I find my way back down. That's really dense. Go 
over this way. See them damn hurricanes, they knock down the trees. And you get all this sideway foliage. This thing is a lot steeper and longer than I thought it would. Top's got to be up here somewhere. I should go through that way. Jack. It come down a different way. I don't know if I'll find that trail I cut. should uh, document these things. All the, it's a lot of mills, man. A lot of them way in the bush. I mapped, uh, I'm up to uh, 89. I read there was 200, 115 wind-driven sugar mills. <sighs> Yeah, this thing just keeps going up. I think it was 230 horse driven mill. Basically those were just a platform with like a cog wheel and the mules or horses would turn it to crush the king. I brought some flag and tape, man. Man, I might have to abandon this. That's why I kind of gave up trying to go to all these mills. It's just too much bush. Then you get the Danes, man. They're big time in the history in St. Croix. Back some money behind us, get some guys with machetes. And cut past all these mills and document them. Got a thorough film job of all of them. That's a big undertaking, there's no way one person's gonna do it. Some of them, like I said in the other video, I mean, they're way in the bush. They gotta cut through. 3,000 feet of dense fucking bush. You get lost. Ow! Damn it. All right, go up here. Kind of lost my bearings though. 
I was trying to go in a straight line. Well, the mill was on the top. So as long as I'm on a slope, it ain't here. Man, I measured that on Google Earth, man. Google Earth lied, man. It's way further one, I say. Left, right. Come on, you hardwood, you. Ah, <sighs> uh, this stuff's got thorns on it. Huh. Damn. That top's got to be up here. Ugh. Yeah, we're pulling in the middle of summer. It is humid, man. Ow! Damn it. Go straight through there. Ain't give up yet. A oh, big old tibet tree. That wood is like black walnut when you cut it. Man, it's hot. Along with these mills, you know, they're built out of stone. And if it's in a really dense bush area, you can literally be 50 feet from it and not see it. I see the top. This mongoose is getting too old for this. I came up here with an ex-girlfriend like four years ago. <laughs> we spent three hours in the bush and didn't find the mill. <laughs> now I'm giving another tent. <clears throat> Some of this tiny shit. It's really tough wood. The ones with thorns on them. Hopefully there'll be some kind of visual up there. It'd be nice if it had been right there. Yeah, they put they position all the mills you know where they got the wind because they were wind driven mills <laughs> they were big they were like <sighs> you know the wind turbines of the 17 1800 
Where the hell? Huh. Huh. Oh my god, it's a hot up here. Where the hell is it? I wonder if it's by that tree. Oh man, real dance. A little bit more this way. I think it might be the other way over there. This is super dancing here. As if it was right there and I gave up and come back the other way. This is super dancing. Ain't no middle there. I think it's the other way. Head back this way. Ugh. Ow! Mill's proven to be hard to find. For anybody don't know, yeah, it's hard. This is guinea grass. Uh, the fastest growing grass in the world. Man, I gotta go down through all that bush. Damn. Yeah, gotta get the things.
There's some money behind this. And my rest of ass up here again. Never find that trail I cut. down here up in the highland then blue mountain I think it's the other way, man. I'm oh, gonna have to do more thorough lining up on the Google Earth, man. Oh, man. Yeah, things look so different on Google Earth when you get into the real bush. And that was all the way at the top, going down the other way. Maybe it's on the next. Now, it's like, I think it's the other way. This looks more like the area we went through four years ago. So, means it's definitely the, the other way. Yeah. Pissing me off. We went over that hill, ended up coming out way down. Definitely on not on that hill. Ah, uh, I think I'm gonna call it. Go down right here. I'm not gonna go back to that next peak. It's just too fucking hot. Uh. See. We got over here. Yeah. Gotta be on that other way. We went through this there, I'm pretty sure. Damn. That mill is really proving hard to find. I go about. 50, 60 feet this way and I'm going down. I'm gonna have to do a more, go through that way to get to the road. Yeah, this is even more dense. Than when I was up here last. Jesus. 
the mills are hard to find and in the bush. That stonework, you know, it blends in. It would be right in that area. Maybe I'll take a look. I'm all the way up here. I haven't gotten stung yet. All right, I'm going to drink. Go a little bit this way and then head down. So you got that hill over there. And I'm heading down this way. And I haven't saw no mill yet. So it's got to be on that other hill. Nice if it was right there. A lot of times the mills, ones in the bush, they have a lot of bush growing around them, like that, where it's a little dense. <clears throat> I don't remember coming through all this bush on that last trek. That would suck to give up and it was right there. Yeah. Not in there. Heading down. Damn it. I guess that's it. It must be on the other ridge. Man, I go down to all this fucking bush. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I need a drink. Take one more look. It's like a dense spot right over here. Damn, this fucking bush. Uh, see through that. Oh my god, is it hot? I'm getting all cut up. <sighs> now heading down. Damn, okay, I want to get myself in there. <sighs> it's all fucking dead shit through here. All right, people, over and out. Back on here, man. Uh, didn't find the mill. Second attempt. I decided to go uh, check out this, uh, the old Davis Bay plantation. I'm going to have to make another attempt on that mill. That'll be number three. That thing is hard to find, man. That bush is dense, man. Cut me to hell. I can go through some bush again. Well, this I know where I'm going. We're gonna go look at Dan Dan's old shack. 
<sighs> this used to be the main road of Davis Bay, which is the Kirimbola Hotel. The road is up there now, but this used to be the road what I'm walking on right now. Used to be a little dirt road that went down there. There's an old plantation down here. Oh, that dang mill is colluding me, man. I'm determined to I'll go up there and find it again, but my God, it was hot today. Oh, that's great all up, man, trying to get up in that mill. And I had to take another way down. I couldn't find the trail that I cut. battery power I got left on this thing. Yeah, bush is incredibly dense up there. But since that's the uh, second attempt, I know I'm narrowing it down. It's a lot cooler down here, man. This is near the shoreline. The coast is right over there. This is the old road. by the legendary Dandan Dan Shack. Basically, Dandan Dan was this old guy that lived in the shack, which basically was a converted old ruin. Which is up here somewhere. There it is over there. So basically, the story goes, Dan Dan lived in that shack right there. I don't know if it show up in the video through that bush. It's all ruined. But anyhow, they had a cow gate here, right along here. And he would be up there, and every time a vehicle come up, he'd come out with his long machete and intimidate people to pay him off. You had to give him like a six pack of beer or a bottle of rum or something like that. And basically he would stand like right there. Gotta yeah, remember this was an open road then. It wasn't all this bush. And this went down that way to the Davis Bay Beach. And he'd sit there and intimidate everybody had to give him a bottle of rum or a beer. Best thing you do is you stashed all the good beer and hide the rum and give him a schlitz. And say that's all you had. And most of the time he, he let you through. But uh, yeah, anybody who lived on St. Croix back in the 70s, <laughs> you got a Dan Dan story. But he was a kind of creepy dude. You know, I was really young back then. A lot of times we used to go camp down on Davis Bay before the hotel was there. And, you know, he was pretty intimidating coming out with that machete, you know. You know, and then you're camping out down there and you're wondering if he's going to sneak up on you at night. You know, I'd be up here drinking his rum. I got his to shack. It's what he used to live in. Just full of vines. <sighs> yeah, this wall collapsed. Probably got blown over by Hugo or Yeah, beep that horn. Take a look at a shack which is basically part of the old uh, plantation. Got his rum bottles around here. I was down here uh, some months ago, but I didn't really film it. Way cooler in here than, yeah, see these are all Dan Dan bottles. Yeah, that's his uh, rum bottles. 
They're strewn all over the place. Yes. Whatever you know, people had, they gave us this old cruising rum bottle, probably from the uh, 70s. There's a, a little one, the mini. And you got the, the pint. <laughs> and you got some, uh, hmm, looks like JMB. Yep. Yeah, and the old beer bottles and all that stuff. They see whatever people had to give them. Wonder if you could find one of his old machetes. A lot of bush in there. Let's see, go in there. Dang, dang, shit. Yeah, I gotta find that mill, man. That really pissed me off, man. I mean, that shit had me sweating like a pig, man. Wow, well, that's sharp metal in here. I'm gonna lose to that. Yeah, you know, that ain't original woodware. It's all just rotten. Treated wood. Oh, this wall's about to fall over. There's some original woods in these old ruins. The lake, that's one up there built in. Up there. That's probably original beam. Legal bitey. Ironwood. You be careful in some of these old ruins, man. These walls are really unsafe. Vines. Uh, yeah, you can find that chainy, the old porcelain pottery around these old ruins. People make jewelry out of it. See if we can find any. Yeah. That's a uh, Dan Dan shack or house, original wall. This plantation doesn't have a mill. Had a stack, but uh, the stack collapsed. Let's find a piece of chainy. And a piece. Nope. And that piece. piece of glass. This is all. This is pottery here. Usually it's the, the one with the blue. This piece of glass. They said it's make jewelry out of it. Call it chainy. It's a local thing. Local jewelers here make jewelry out of it. <sighs> yeah, here's a one of the old great houses. Ah, more Dan Dan bottles. Uh, that wall is about to go over, man. It's got a mean lean on it. I would recommend not standing on the other side of it. <laughs> they might never find you, man. A big wall like that falls on top of you. <laughs> You'd just be smushed under that. Those walls are like two foot thick, you know. But St. Croix is full of ruins. Or anybody that likes to do the exploration stuff. They had, I think, 235 plantations. And this is just one. A lot of knip tree in here, man. See what's over this way. Well, this, this plantation is really, that wall is about to fall over. That hasn't got much life left in that, man. A couple more big rains and that thing's over. 
see what's in here. Old piece of metal. Yeah, that wall's really about to go. That really does bum me out. I didn't get to that mill, man. Got scraped to hell. Sweating my ass off. Then I had to come down through a bunch of bush. I couldn't find that trail I cut. There's another old building. I'm gonna find one piece of that chainy. I like that floating coral. It eluded me. Every time I wanted to find one that floated, couldn't find one. That's one thing about the tropics, man. Full of vines. No, I didn't get stung. That was one of the first. How was that? An old train. Yeah, that's got to be modern. They didn't have plastic back then. An oh, old cistern. Some old metal parts. Uh, farm implements or something. Off of some farming equipment. Real rusted out. Yeah, this looks like an old cistern here. Some of the plantations are a lot better shaped than this one. I guess this is an old one. 1700s. That window's in pretty good shape. That one piece. It's amazing how one part was stand up and the others all collapse. <sighs> Hurricanes will take a lot of it down. You know, we got a lot of big hurricanes. <sighs> yeah, this, this ruins are really collapsed. Not much standing. Yeah, I wish it had been this cool when I was going up to that mill. I would have probably spent more time. Oh man, that thing was cooking me up there, man. Yeah, this is another cistern here. You see all those holes that have the timbers for a floor. They had a lot of rubble construction where they mix, you know, rocks, bricks, pretty much anything they could build with. You know, they would dismantle another plantation to build a new one, you know, or take a mill down. Some of the mills were dismantled. I don't think you could find all 115 of them because some of them were dismantled. Some collapsed. They say here's a perfect example of rubble construction. Oh, this was the uh, the old stack that collapsed. These things were about 50, some of them 50, 60 foot tall. It's a big old piece of a. Uh, is that a? Looks like an old plow. Oh, old one when I get cut on that. Yeah, that, gotta watch out for the old metal stuff. Wear long pants, man. Yeah, that was the stack. And there's a good example of rubble construction. See, a lot of those bricks are probably stripped off some other plantation and then built into this one. But this stack came down. 
A lot of them on the island are still standing. Another building over here. piece of bean. Hmm. The old lignum vitae, man. Yeah, I got some weight to it. That's the old lignum stuff. Very hardwood. Now, well, this, this ruin has some, uh, some of the walls are pretty intact, I and mean, they go up two stories. I don't see no chaining man. Some people pick it out, man. These walls look pretty straight, no lean on them. Got some life left on those. Oh, framework. Yeah, getting in the bush here. Oh, we got more ruins down that way. Ah, uh, man, Jack. About this way. And I gotta go back to find that mill. That mill's got me really pissed off now. Golf ball. Yeah, when I can't find them, it makes me even more determined. I gotta go on Google Earth to do a printout and I gotta find that sucker. Man, that bush is so dense up there. I could have been really close to it, but like I said, man, you could be 50 feet from it and not see it. That bush is like way more dense than this. How my buddies? Honey beehive. Oh, I didn't get stung today. A yeah, miracle. Probably jinx myself. What the hell is that? That's a hole right there. Somebody got digging there. Let me come in here with metal check. A lot of old glass and stuff in there. Some of it's real old, some of it's more modern. What is that? A little bottle. Huh. Can't read that. It's definitely not 1800s. A lot of bottles in here. You got the old short stubby heinies. Yeah. yeah, that's a long one. Somebody was chilling and I'm dang dang, he was all over. Cool to find an old 1800s bottle. One of them onion bottles in the 1700s. Yeah, when I was coming down from that mill, Man, I took a spill and I almost got a serious cut from my own machete, man. It almost sliced my arteries up. Not bullshitting. Really close call. Fucking slipped. You gotta be careful with machetes, man. You know, those slaves 
when they work those fields man that's horrible man those, those people used to cut their legs you know really deep and they're swinging those machetes all the time working them 10 12 hour days on barely anything to eat or they eat had to grow their own vegetables in the droughts they were you know it's unbelievable I was reading that you know the average lifespan of them was like five to six years you know they were dying in their prime of their life because they were worked so hard with no food and I, I mean I just hiked up to that mill. Yeah, it's summertime, man. In yeah, August. And it is really hot up there. I can't even imagine. Wow, look at all these balls. I can't even imagine having to work in that condition. Living on potatoes and whatever garbage they fed you. You know, and then if you didn't work, it beat your ass or whatever. Fuck that, I jumped off a cliff. Now that area where I was hiking over by the uh... Wow, this must be Dan Dan's gold mine here. Anyhow, you know, over there by uh... The Ham's Bluff Lighthouse. That ridge up there. That's called Maroon Ridge. A lot of the slaves, they jumped off the cliffs over there to evade being caught. Can't really blame them. You know, that's why they lived over there because it was so rugged over there. It was the only place that you could, uh, you know, evade the capture. Man, I wonder if that's Dan Dan's major stash. These all look old. They look about 70s. What the heck was that? Wow, that's an old uh, boiler cover. That's old. That's definitely a. Uh, uh, 1800s could be 17s these bottles yeah a lot of rum bottles rum 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 vodka rum oh yeah there's a lot of rum oh this is where Dan Dan put all his bottles found his stash because he was there for years so I know it yeah that's where he hit them all these are mostly rum bottles that's rum that's rum that's rum that's rum that looks like uh, vodka or gin, vodka or gin, rum, 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 uh, no, nah, that's not rum. That's, rum, that's rum, that's rum, that's rum, that's rum, that's rum, that's rum, this is rum, that's rum, that's rum. So basically he's got mostly like vodka and rum, there's a Gordon's, uh, and then the beer bottles. That's definitely Dan Dan. So that's probably where he's throwing all his bottles. Yeah, those are rum bottles. That's a rum. That's definitely a rum. Still got the cap on it. That's another rum over there. Yeah, it's the 70s. Got the old red cap. Oh, the date on it. What the color am I? Can't see shit. Maybe the camera will pick it up. I should bring one of these back. Yeah. That's a lot of bottles. Yeah, imagine if those were all bottles from like the 1800s or 1700s. Man, that'd be like a store there. We... <laughs> We got a big wall here. It's a lot of ruins in here. They go down. Go down up the seaweed. I don't want the ball. It's an old rum ball, but it's not like it's not like it was 1800s or something. That was definitely dandy. Huh? Man, Jack, uh, bouncy wood, hard to cut. 
when it's dry. Yeah, Sargasso. Hey, that's the cannon ramparts on this. Collapsed in. I know there's an old well down here somewhere. It's over this way. Yeah, this wood here, man, Jack. This tree here. They used to make fence posts out of it. Pretty much still do, some of the farmers. It's really bug resistant, rot resistant wood. Bugs don't eat it. Man, Jack, and Maho. Oh shit. Hit the camera with the shit and break the lens. Yeah, these walls are all collapsing. <sighs> More walls in there. Gotta watch out for the gnarly bush. Inside me and my brother were hiking through the bush up by Blue Mountain. And we ran into some bush that I've never run into in my whole life. It was like that hogweed or something. I don't know if we have that there. I've never seen it. But anyhow, oh man, that shit was gnarly. My brother had to go to the hospital for it. I mean, they, you get all this big welts and nasty pussing out sores from it. I got it too, but I didn't get it bad like he did. He ran directly into it. And, um, yeah, it itched like crazy. It took over a month to heal. And I went back to the area to look for the bush, but I could never find it. An old trough. The farm animals, man. Yeah. Binds me. Yeah, you gotta be careful with these damn long machetes, though. I mean, I almost sliced my arteries open when I took that fall. No joke. I would have been gushing blood, man, rushing out of there. Trying to get to the hospital. <clears throat> Thing is, you gotta have a machete to get through this bush. Some of it's just unbelievable, and you can't do it without a machete. See if I find that old well. Another trough. I thought that's a good place to look for old bottles. You gotta dig up the bottom and dig out all those leaves. Here's some more bottles. Well, that Dan Dan had his rum bottles everywhere. Rum bottle, rum bottle, beer bottle. That looks like a rum. Crucian rum mine. He used to like the dark, but he'd take anything to get his hands on. Is that a rum bottle? Oh, yeah, I got the old jug here. Glug, glug, glug. Yeah, I don't drink much anymore. Big piece of metal in there. I drank once in a blue moon. Gave that shit up, man. One of the worst drugs on the planet. Alcohol.
piece of an old bottle. Man, I can find no one piece of chain there. See, it's in here. Yeah, I only found three old bottles in the 1800s in my whole life here. And every one had a broken top. Never found a whole one. Where's that well? Ah, I mean down. Oh, it's a long time on. Damn. Dang, dang, got his bottle there. I think that well was down his gut. I'm gonna get stung, it's just a matter of time. Yeah. Yeah. Pair of shades. Yeah, and I sharpened this machete before I left, and I had this sucker razor sharp. You don't wanna fall on it. Like an old tibet tree. I don't think I'm gonna find that well. It's a long time ago. I know it's somewhere in the end. But... Oh, there it is. I think that's it. I'm falling in no big hole here. Oh well, yeah, that's it. Oh, that's a dent. How deep is that thing? Ooh, you wouldn't want to fall in there, boy. Yeah. Gnarly way to die. Yeah, you weren't paying attention with all that vine and shit climbed up on there. And you're by yourself. They probably should put covers on these. That would be a gnarly death. Drowning that. My nasty water. Got some handholds. But I don't think you'd get out of there. And you don't know what's uh, sticking up in there. You might get impaled on something if you fell in there. Yeah, I, was, uh, I just heard some tourist fell off Point Utah Cliffs the other day and died in the same rocky areas I was climbing for the hike around the island. Make sure you wear the strap. You drop the GoPro in there. You ain't getting it back. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty cool well. Really good shape. Must have had some kind of that'd be I don't know what you call those. These blocks around it. Must have had some kind of little you know like gazebo building over the top of it. With the you know the pulley to pull up the bucket. Well yeah, that well is uh they probably should put some covers over there, you know, somebody exploring. Like I said, that was so dense and you climbed up on that and thought that was just a ruin. Walked over and boom, you're down. You're done. Especially if you're by yourself, you know, you gotta be real careful. And these, these old plantations or old buildings down here, they have the cisterns, you know. Well, I guess that's about it. There's more ruins further down. 
But it's just mostly old walls like what I was showing you. Yeah, if you fell in a well like that, what how long you live in there? Man, imagine I'm gonna drink that water. That's some nasty water, man. And I don't know how, loud, how hard you scream. Nobody's gonna hear you. Only by total luck that somebody's walking by that coast there and heard you, but I doubt they'd hear you with a wave. Oh well, I'm heading out. Now yeah, I'm all cut up, bruised up. Jeez. Smack my ankle on a goddamn stump. Yeah, it all sucks about those terrorists that fell off that cliff. Yeah, I watch a lot. Over by the anti tide pools. You know, all these people, man, they don't got no balance. Stay off them rocks, man. Some of those cliffs drop 80 feet off, and the trails go right up to the edge. A bunch of loose gravel. One slip, and there's nothing to grab onto, and you're gone. Like I said, it happened to me, happened to a friend. I fell 40 feet. Almost died. That old rotten rock broke off on me. The only thing that saved me, man, is I fell in the water. Bounced off a ledge. Landed in like 10 foot of water. Well, it's getting hot in here now. Yeah, I gotta find that goddamn mill. That's an old canip tree. Ancient one. There's a fruit you can eat. I'll get it. It's got the old bob wire grown into it from the old farm. This one is really old. I'd probably say this one's like 150 years. <sighs> well, that's about it. I'm going to head back. Ready for a drink. This is what it's like in the tropics on St. Croix. In the bush. Okay, people, all over and out.